welcome to this week's Steam Culture. Well, if you're from Saudi Arabia, Israel, uh, Australia, heck, California, the water you're drinking, it might be seawater. Now, seawater is pretty salty, as you know. In fact, a liter of seawater contains about 35 grams of salt, and that's got to go. The process to do that is called desalinization. There's two kind of main methods. One is called reverse osmosis, and there's one called evaporative. And evaporative technologies require heat, which is why we're talking about it, because most of the time, that heat is steam. Now, there's one method that we really want to focus on. It's called multi-flash separation. Now, something very important that I want to explain first, it's a naturally occurring phenomenon that is at the root of this, and it's called flash steam. Now, desalinization is a complicated process done on a massive scale, but I am here to give you the simple man's version, because that's what I'm good at. So, buckle in. This process involves several stages. In each stage, there's a condenser, which is a bundle of tubes, a tray for collecting fresh water and a pump to move the salty water to the next stage. So salt water comes in and is preheated as it moves through each stage. At the end, it goes through a heat exchanger called a brine heater. Now, in the brine heater, the seawater is exposed to high pressure steam, which brings it up to the proper temperature for the process. This very hot water enters the first stage where the pressure is lower than the seawater, causing some of it to flash into steam. The steam hits the series of condensing tubes. Now remember, these tubes originally contained the cooler seawater that was making its way to the brine heater. When the hot steam hits the cooler tubes, it condenses back into a liquid and collects on the tray. Now here's the magic. When the seawater flashes into steam, the salt stays in the liquid. The steam is salt free. So when that steam condenses back into water and collects onto the tray, it's now fresh water. Now this process repeats itself two or three more times until they've collected all the fresh water they can. And what they're left with that didn't flash off is a highly concentrated, very salty bunch of water. So they pump that back into the ocean and the whole process starts again. So there you have it, desalinization and steam plays a major role. So if you're drinking seawater, you won't know it unless you're in the ocean with your mouth open. So thanks for joining me here on Steam Culture. I will have something for you next week, I promise. But while you're drinking your desalinated water, go Google us, find the content that we prepare for you each and every week. And in the meantime, I will work on something. See you next week.